everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play Claw using a controller in Fortnite. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So in Fortnite, playing Claw can be a huge advantage. It would take the amount of fingers you have on your controller from four to six. And this will allow you to jump and build and aim at the same time without taking your thumbs off your thumbsticks. Now typically when you're playing a video game, this is your standard way to hold a controller. Your thumbs are on the thumbsticks and your right and your left index fingers are on the triggers, the L2 and the R2. While playing claw, we'll take this a step further. Now with your middle finger, you're going to move him onto the triggers. So your two middle fingers will be right here and then your two index fingers will be moved up one button to the L1 and the R1. So that will increase the amount of fingers you have on your controllers including your thumbs to six. Then additionally if you have a paddle button on your controller like the DualShock 4 back button attachment I bought this from Walmart for about $29. They may be out of stock right now but this will add additionally two more buttons so you can increase the amount of fingers you have on your controller at the same time to eight. Then with the back button attachment, I'm gonna be using this finger right here on either hand to press that and I'll use that to jump and build. Then additionally, with my right index fingers, I can go ahead and press the triangle, square, cross, and circle button, leaving my fingers on the thumbstick. So anytime I'm playing like this, it's very nice in Call of Duty to go ahead and get my armor on by pressing triangle real quick and then picking up items with square. Then my back buttons are reassigned to circle and X. You can do the same thing on the left side with your left index finger with the D-pad. Now let's switch over to Fortnite. Now I'm gonna admit I am terrible at Fortnite right now, but everything can be done. If you're gonna be switching to your build mode, all you have to do is take your right index finger, press the circle button, and your fingers are still on the back buttons, on the triggers, and you quickly shoot if anyone engages you. Switch to the build mode, build, shoot, and you're still aiming. You're still able to aim. Now, one of the downsides of playing claw is sometimes it may be difficult to get used to playing like this because you are taking a lot of pressure and putting it on your right index finger, pressing all these face buttons, so your finger might actually hurt after a while doing that. But once you go ahead and get used to it, your level of gameplay will surely go up here uh, with the ability to keep all your fingers on the button and be able to press all those buttons at the same time. So if you really want to be like a professional on Fortnite, playing claw might be something you want to go ahead and look at. Also look at these back button attachments. If playing claw kind of hurts your fingers, a back button attachment will allow you to go ahead and get two additional fingers on your controller. And then you won't have to use your right index finger as much to press buttons. Or if you want to go ahead and get a pro controller, some of the pro controllers have two more buttons on the controller. Some have them like on the side right here. Then the Razer Raju, which I had had one right in between the L1 and the L2. And same thing on the other side. So you can have more fingers on your controller at the same time. So if this video did indeed help you out learning how to play Claw on Fortnite using a controller, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Fortnite tutorials coming up next on your six studios.